retirement indefinitely because you have to pay off education loans. Those are the things you need to think about to make sure that your kids have some investment in their college education. Speaking of borrowing, what about credit cards? Uh, how, how do you train your kids how to use those? They're, they're so much a part of the fiber now of the way that we spend money. Yeah, most money that's spent today is digital, so you can't just ignore that. And it's great with little kids to have cash because that's very physical and they can get that concept. As they get older, we put our daughter up for a checking account when she was 13, and she has a debit card. That she can't go over, she can't overdraft, so that helps a lot in basic budgeting. And I've also added her as an authorized user to a credit card. She doesn't have access to the card right now, but that's helping her build her credit and her credit scores. If you do give your child access to a credit card, make sure that they're under your roof while you do that. You don't want to just send them off to college with one because they'll have no experience in using it. Really good insight. Thank you, Liz Weston, columnist for Nerd Wallet, telling us about ways to help our kids be more financially literate on this personal finance Wednesday. Still to come, keeping your holiday road trip fun and safe. And we'll check traffic and weather next. WBBM News Time, 1247. The summer on sales event going on now at Elmhurst BMW. Get an additional $4,500. BMW, 500 West Lake Street, or at ElmhurstBMW.com. WBBM News Time, 1247. Time to buy tickets for The Music Man at the Goodman Theater. Spring Rock Gutter Guards are the solution for the most dreadful chore of all, cleaning your gutters. We haven't gotten up on your roof yet this year. The gutter coop is waiting to be scooped. Put an end to the mess. The Spring Rock Gutter Guards, the size of one of the just right at Land Rover of Naperville. We call that feeling a Patrick thing. We listen, answer all your questions, and offer Patrick Direct, where we come to your house, drop off a loaner car, and take yours in for service. Your car shopping and service experience is that great. It's a Patrick thing. Visit Land Rover of Naperville or online at LandRoverofNaperville.com. side of uh, IDOT cruising the left lane as you approach Lawrence, but it's not causing too big of a slowdown. Kennedy out. 28 to Montrose is 14 and the express is 43 to O'Hare. Inbound takes 55 minutes coming into the airport. 45 minutes in off the Eden Junction. Now on I-30 to Man, that's 43 to Somebody have a crash at Damon in the right lane. It's 48 minutes coming in from 398 in Anheuser Hudson. Outbound Stevenson, 27 to 294, 37 to 355, and about 46. 355 to the drive, 36 to 294. Up on Dan Ryan, 46 minutes. The bottom take is 23. Pretty heavy on the inbound Ford at 23 minutes. The 57 is good. Let's sure drive's not terrible. Southbound Tri-State improving. After an earlier crash, past the limit away from the just to clear. Traffic bumped by Rose and Hyundai. Their 4th of July sales event is going on now. Save on any new 2019 Kona, Tucson, or Santa Fe at Rose and Hyundai. Save time. Shop online at roseandhyundai.com. Hurry. 4th of July sales event ends soon. Get traffic and weather. Get on the 8th every 10 minutes on News Radio 780 and 105.9 FM. Beautiful day. Hot and sticky, though, with a high of 87 degrees. Chance for some of these gray random showers popping up around Chicagoland off and on today. Nothing significant on the radar right now, though. Tomorrow, pretty much the same as today, with a high of 88 degrees. And some, uh, some showers and thunderstorms moving through. 82 at O'Hare, 83 at Midway, and 81 degrees along Chicago's lakefront. On Wall Street, the Dow finished up 179, the Nasdaq up 61, and the S&P up 22 points. Markets are already closed because of the holiday weekend. WBBM News on 1250. Pilot the family into the car or SUV, maybe minivan for a holiday road trip. Let's talk about how some planning can help make it smooth sailing. Cindy Richards is joining us, editor-in-chief of TravelingMom.com here in Chicagoland. 
A lot of families are doing this. They're already preparing and getting everything ready. Uh, if you have kids, uh, give us some ways to make it maybe a little more bearable if you're driving for several hours. Well, I think it's all about um, two things. One is leaving yourself plenty of time because we know there's going to be a thousand and thousands of people on the road doing the same thing you are. So leave early or just you know, going to take as long as it takes and everybody just take the chill pill and relax, right? And then a lot of stuff to keep people entertained and not just the little people. I think it needs to keep the adults entertained too. You know, I'm a big fan of um, uh, uh, like audio books, things that you guys can all listen to together. Um, you know, we love the Harry Potter books. As the kids are a little younger, the time they school books are fun. And what's nice is if you have a library card, even if you don't have time to get to the library, you can probably go online and download them from your library right to your iPad or your phone, and um, you can listen to them in the car without having to take a side trip when you're trying to get ready. So the old uh, kids just look out the window and see what you see. Uh, that, that's not going to be very effective, huh? No, it, I ask them once you want them to fighting it in the back seat and whacking each other the whole time. <laughs> Yeah, everyone always says, you know, we, we didn't have the DVDs and everything when I was a kid, but they forget the fact that they fought all the way to whatever their destination was. Uh, exactly. <laughs> uh, what about maintaining the car? It, it, just thinking about things like, hey, where's the spare tire if you need it? Yeah, I think, well, you certainly need to know your car, right, when you're going to go. And if you're going to rent a car, then you need to spend a little time when you get in it and figure out where the lights are and the windshield wipers and all that kind of stuff. But if it's your car, you want to do some basic maintenance. You know, check the tires, check the tires, see if they need a little air, check the oil, do some really basic stuff. You don't want to be 45 minutes away from home and the car breaks down because that's going to ruin everybody's day. And the other thing you should do is go to TravelingMom.com. We have right on the home page a, a downloadable list of 100, actually more than 100 items that you should keep in an emergency kit, kit in your car. You can go there right now, look at it, download it, and it's got a lot of things that people don't even think about, like a spare um, backup battery for your cell phone. So if you're stranded somewhere and the car's not working, you can't plug your phone into the car and expect it to recharge. So you need a portable battery for your cell phone. So there's lots of things like that on the list that you might not have thought of taking otherwise. Thanks so much, Cindy. Good analysis to get us prepared. Cindy Richards, editor-in-chief of TravelingMom.com. If you missed any part of today's new business hour, the replay podcast will be available shortly at WBBMNewsRadio.com and the Radio.com app. WBBM News Time, 1253. That's your new time for business news on a shortened trading.